Good evening. How many of y'all thank God that you were born in the United States of America? Let me see your hand. Praise God. You know our country's facing a lot of problems right now. And I want you to know I've got the answer to every single one of them. Put the family Bible back on the table. And the American flag back out in the yard. Just put the sign that says, I love Jesus. That is it, no further. And, and uh, you know, as I look out over the, over the folks here tonight, I, I can see that there's a few here who may not be very familiar with this next individual that I want to introduce to you, but most of you are. And for those of you who maybe never have heard of him or heard him speak, he was known for many years as the clown prince of comedy. But he has something very, very striking that I want you to hear. Because he talks to us tonight about God's place, his name mentioned in our Pledge of Allegiance. His name is Mr. Red Skelton. The teacher that I had. Now, I, only, I, went, I went through the seventh grade. I went to the seventh grade. I left home when I was ten years old because I was hungry. And I used to, this, is, this is true. I work in the summer and I go to school in the winter. But I had this one teacher. He was the principal of the Harrison School in Vincennes, Indiana. To me, this was the greatest teacher, a real sage of, of my time, anyhow. He had such wisdom. And we were all reciting the Pledge of Allegiance one day. And he walked over, this little old teacher, Mr. Laswell was his name. Mr. Laswell. I Mr. pledge Jeff. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Right now I'd like to do a song for you that was written by a lady out of Dallas during the dawning hours of Operation Desert Storm. And while she was elderly and she didn't feel like she could drive a tank or fly an airplane, she wanted to do something to support and encourage those who could. So she wrote this song to pay honor and tribute to those who defend our right to worship and to freedom around the world. Listen. There's a rumble in the distance Like thunder in the sky while passing through the country, we see the forces rise. Down that ribbon highway, our soldiers drawing near. We see their banners waving, we feel the swelling tears. While little children listen, the share his eyes and shares the heart of so many thousands of those who protect freedom for us and others every day around the world. Back home now I know you're probably sleeping But over here it's the middle of the day I finally found some time to write a letter Sitting here half a world away. Let's not forget about those who have already paid the ultimate price that we might be a free nation. It was July in Virginia. The scent of the dogwood and the laurel lay heavy on the land, while the burgeoning fruit of the peach and the apple marked the full sway of summer. Seven fateful days, the trees, the flowers, yes, the very ground itself, had shuddered under the roar of cannon, the bark of howitzers, and the crackling of a legion of rifles. Now all was silent. The sledgehammer blows of Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson had mauled the Army of the Potomac, and yet that army was not destroyed. Seven thousand men had fallen in that dreadful and the savagery of the conflict was grimly evident in the river of wounded that wound through the green hills. Now a new sound drifted in the soft evening sky. For Colonel Dan Butterfield, a courageous and able soldier, was also a man of music. To honor his fallen comrades, he had composed a simple and 
heartrending spoken for time won't matter anymore you love I'm longing for you I'm not looking for a hole in the ground I'm looking for a hole in the sky I'm not looking for a place to land I'm looking for a place to fly I'm not learning the graveyard song Brother, let me tell you why Well, I'm not looking for a hole in the ground I'm looking for a hole in the sky All my friends, they tell me Everybody's gotta die They said we've all gotta take a trip To the graveyard by and by But friends, I don't believe it And I'm not gonna tell you why Well, I'm not looking for a hole in the ground I'm looking for a hole in the sky I'm not looking for a hole in the ground